My name is Jon Snow. Other northerners who have this accent are Samuel Tarly, Rob Baratheon, Egret, and of course Bronn, and the other northerners, which include Eddard Stark, but none of the other Starks. Not Arya, not Sansa, not Bran, which is just weird. Rob Stark has a mixed accent between the North and the South. It's not super strong either way. Theon Greyjoy does speak with some aspects of the Northern accent, but I won't include him as a full Northerner because his accent isn't super strong either way. So how do you speak like a Northerner? Well, first we need to change some sounds. For example, the sound a uh, is represented by this symbol, a. Uh. Now we can see examples of this sound in words like up, come, nothing, mother, brother. It's that a uh sound. In the Northern accent, the a uh sound changes to an o uh sound. So up becomes up. Nothing becomes nothing. Mother, mother. Brother, brother. We all know the famous motto, winter is coming. But knowing that the a uh sound in coming sounds more like an o. Uh. This would, in a northern accent, sound like Winter is coming. Also notice that there is r linking there. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. There is one major difference which separates northern English accents to southern English accents. That's what we call the trap bath split. Or the trap bath split. And that is where, for example, a southerner might say Bastard. Northerners would say, the bastard. So that long ah sound is replaced by a shorter ah sound. You are the bastard, though. The bastard's in love. <laughs> Let me give you some advice, bastard. What the hell do you know about being a bastard? Other words that this applies to would be, in Southern English, bath. In Northern English, bath. Laugh. Laugh. Chance. Chance. Pass. Pass. Command. Command. And whereas Southerners would say Castle Black, Northerners would say Castle Black. And we learn something very interesting. You know nothing, Jon Snow. This one. This symbol represents the O sound. There are two words in her famous line that have the O sound. No and snow. So listen to how they sound. You know nothing, Jon Snow. So the O sound is replaced with an O sound, which is similar to this sound. No. And then we add a bit of drama to it. No. Nothing becomes nothing. Jon Snow becomes Jon Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. So if an O sound changes to more of an O sound, how do O sounds sound? Well, we have to look at words like north and sword. They have the or sound, north, sword. They change to north, sod. So let's have a test. Read this sentence like a northerner of Westeros or England. In the Southern English accent, you're a funny man. In the Northern English accent, you're a funny man. The a uh in funny changes to fu, funny. Funny man. Very funny man. Also up north is Davos. Now, he doesn't sound exactly like Jon Snow, although he's from the north. His accent in the real world is called a Geordie accent. This accent comes from a place called Newcastle, which is a real place in the north of England. In the Westeros world, it comes from... I think just Davos. One interesting difference is how they pronounce the T. Let me give you an example. In a Southern English accent, we might say, there's a war to fight. In the Davos accent, the Geordie accent, there's a war to fight. Notice how it's not exactly a glottal T, it's not a war a fight. It's stopped by the tongue hitting the back of the top teeth. There's a war a fight. In fact, for most T's, the tongue stops that sound rather than the teeth. Which accent, which voice should I break down next? You tell me. Let me know in the comments and I'll include it in a future video. Until next time, hold on. Oh, that's sad.